Hey y'all, welcome back to Western New York Wildlife Hotspots, hosted by me, Jenny. Today is a very cool day. I went to a really neat cemetery. When I say a cool day, I'm talking just downright frigid, cold, but anyways. I went to a really neat cemetery. Now you don't hear that term very often, a really neat cemetery. But I went to Mount uh, Albion Cemetery. And it originally started out, this is, this is a kind of neat story because it originally started out with only 25 acres. Um, now it's over 100 acres where over 18,000 people were, have been laid to rest. More than 25 miles of paths and avenues wind through the terrace. Terra I can never say that word right, but that's okay. Um, it's a beautiful, hilly cemetery. Just, it winds down the hill and people are buried on both sides. The tombstones are, well, there's older ones and there's newer ones. Beautiful just beautiful the wild there's we actually got a picture of a deer there today there were deer tracks everywhere i did say this was a frigid day right nice snowy cold but that's okay because i had a really nice hike um i had a cool hiking buddy to be with so it, it all worked out really nice the cemetery is here's fun facts for you Cemeteries aren't just for eternal rest anymore. Yes, they too are for hiking, just like state parks. Except I, you know, wouldn't want to see you jump on any stones or rocks at a cemetery because that's just downright rude. But anyways, that being said, um, this particular cemetery had uh, plowed certain areas where it was easier to walk than obviously the areas that were not plowed but um it has a winding tower the tower is <clears throat> excuse me i was afraid to go up it so i didn't my cool hiking buddy yeah he's the one that took all the pictures from the top and the the movie that we have up there i've never been able to get up there i'm a little claustrophobic um I did go to the bottom of the tower and I stood there and waited for him because I was cowering out. But uh, so he went all the way up the stairs and took a picture or two, a couple of pictures from up there. Beautiful view. Just when, when I actually saw him on the computer, I was just like, wow, I kind of wish I wasn't such a claustrophobic, uh, afraid of heights kind of person, but that's okay. That being said, um, there is a map when you first walk in. I should have said this from the get-go. There's a map when you first walk in. Um, there's the east side and the west side, and they have maps on both sides. They have a pamphlet on the west side uh, map. They actually had pamphlets that gave you a map of the cemetery. And like I said, it's beautiful. And on the said map, it also gives you a history of the cemetery, the rules and regulations. I don't think the deceased are the ones that break rules and regulations, so I'm assuming this is kind of meant for us. Um, they also have the uh, the amount it costs for burial, for anyways, um, not to be all morbid and stuff, I, for years, have been going through cemeteries, you know, riding my bike, whatever, just to get away from life, just to, <laughs> that's ironic, I just said that if you think about it, but no, just to, you know, just to relax, stress-free time. I, back when I was a kid, we didn't do the whole screens and, you know, YouTube and all that. We didn't do any of this. Um, when I was a kid, you, you, you needed time to de-stress you got on your 10 speed and you took a ride well there you went jogging i liked the 10 speed and i went to a cem local cemetery at the time which was forest lawn cemetery and i used to ride my bike through there and it was very calming for me so cemeteries are not just for the dead 
but they are also for the living to enjoy. So when you are in a cemetery, please be respectful because these people are there eternally. Um, but at any rate, that was not my message. I just wanted to let you all know that this is a beautiful cemetery. And if you get a chance to go take a look at it, walk through it, do a hike through it, spend, a, spend an hour or two there. Very cool place. Um, you might not want to do it on such a cold day as I did today because, well, that was just silly on my end of it. But I noticed this is the only YouTube video that actually shows it in the wintertime. Hurrah! All right, y'all. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Thanks. See you again soon. If you like my video, please hit the like and then hit the subscribe button. It will help me out.